Okay, so shall we answer some questions we from our lovely viewers? You got a bunch. People are excited about you. Ooh. My favorite question was preferred dipping sauce. Because I care a lot about dips. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a big fan of dips. I have a lot of opinions. How do you feel about various dips? I feel good, you know? I feel like, um, this is like a bit of a riff, but I went through a phase where I'd really overdress my salads, you know? Sure, and now I'm yeah. back to just like loving the taste of the vegetables and, you know, you just use it to complement totally. the taste. I don't put a, a ton of dressing on my salad. With like more interesting lettuces. It's because like I was raised eating like shitty like iceberg and mm -hmm, lettuce, which mm -hmm. doesn't taste like anything. Mm -hmm. But like, I love like mustard greens and like arugula. It's so good. Mm-hmm. I'm a big but what about like salad fan. Like dips. Chips like, and dips. I see. Or, or I mean, any dip. I don't discriminate. Oh, uh, between the sinners and the dips. <laughs> and you dip, and you dip, and you dip. Um, I could eat chips and dip, like, for the rest like of my life. Like salsa? I mean, seven-layer dip? Oh, hell yeah. Didn't you yeah. make a seven-layer dip for that, that Lord of the Rings yeah. day? Oh, yeah, I did. And also for, we were so required good. to bring a snack. Uh, during spies contractually and not everyone did they should be fired but i brought seven layers their payments were revoked <laughs> but i also love like freaking nacho cheese guacamole french mm -hmm. onion dip i guacamole. don't care lay it on me do you know you know nick strauss dips. nick strauss i know of him he makes this incredible guacamole it's okay. just got i don't know like onions in it it's just i remember just i came great. over to y'all's place when we did that spies uh, Game night? Yeah, like way, like in the fall, and we, you were. Oh, making I was broth. making it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Laura and I it were getting took a long fight, time. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like a lot of salt in things. I'm oh, not and a big she salt it guy, and she was like much saltier. She wanted it much saltier, was which she... wasn't much saltier, but I, I, I like just don't put a lot of salt in things. Sure, that's interesting. Sean is a big salt fan. He will put salt on stuff, but I, I don't mind. I dated a girl who would like loved salt, and yeah. she would carry like a salt shaker with it's, her some places. What really? Wow. Because she liked like nice <laughs> salts. <laughs> like oh yeah, I like nice salt. salts. I got him this like um, this like uh, salt that's like smoky. What's it called? It's really good. <laughs> I really like. I'll just like dip my finger in the salt and eat it. Anyway, back to dips. Uh, well, Lauren's allergic to onions and garlic, which makes guacamole difficult. I love garlic. I do, too. It's really good for you, too, right? It's good for, like, your yeah, blood flow. Yeah, it's pretty good for you. It's not good for your breath, but... Hey, but, like, that's so you know you truly love someone. Yeah, I used to... That's true. Yeah. I, I eat, like, raw onions and garlic. I, I love, love that stuff. I do, too. I do, too. So, what would you say oh, is you been your... To, what? Um, the Stinking Rose. I have been on once. La Cienega. It's all only it's all garlic. garlic. Yeah. They've got like garlic ice cream. Ugh, uh, yeah. It's good. It's good. Like, like it. not all the time, but maybe like once every couple of years. It's like. I've only been great. once. It was a while ago, but I liked it. Yeah. Um. So, what would you say is your favorite dip if you had to choose? I don't know. Like. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not a big like queso person. Really? Like chips. Yeah. I like salsa. <gasps> Um, that's so sad. I love it so much. I like if there's something like a little fruitful in my sauce, or, like mango like... or something like that. Oh yeah, I like that too. But you're from Pennsylvania, right? Correct. I feel like queso is like a southern thing. Maybe. It's like big in the south. I And I grew up loving queso. After church on Sundays, my dad and I would go to Chili's and I would just order chips and cheese dip and that would be my lunch. Yeah. I mean, it's great. definitely... It's good. It's just not my favorite. That's I mean, it's, if I'm eating it's seafood, just give me like a big for thing of melted butter, you know? Yeah. It's like clams and mussels and just like melted butter. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. I'm not a man of favorites. Okay. I like a lot of things. It just depends on like my mood and the situation. Sure. For the Super Bowl, I used to go to like McDonald's because they'd have those like 50 chicken nuggets for like 10 bucks. <laughs> you get like 200 chicken nuggets. And then just go to Buffalo Wild Wings and get, like, all their dipping sauces. Oh, yeah. And then you just dip them in, like, there you the go. Buffalo Wild Wings sauce. See, sauces. I mean... And ranch and hot sauces, kind of like a, mm -hmm. a good like combo. I like ranch on pizza, which is a little weird. It is good. I'm not the biggest... I, I like ranch, but I, I try not to like it because it's like, what is it? Yeah, so what true. is ranch? That's so true. Can, do ranches grow on trees? <laughs> no. It's nothing. It's chemicals. I might, I really love uh, Chick-fil-A's Chick-fil-A sauce, which, you know, might not win me some friends, but it's really oh. good. <laughs> it's 
really delicious, Chick-fil-A and I would eat it sauce. on it. Have you had it? Uh, probably, but I don't. I don't know. It's like amazing. It's I like the best sauce. I like hate sauce because you are. You're like, what am I eating? What is this? But it also tastes right. so good. I like things with like ginger, like ginger mm, dipping sauces, like the ginger sesame sauce. When you get thing. um, when you get sushi, do you eat the ginger that they provide? Like yeah, with the wasabi? I a little bit. I mix the wasabi and the soy sauce, and yeah, then I too. try to use the. Uh, I, feel, I hear you're not the ginger to do as that. like a palate cleanser. I can't eat straight ginger. It's too much for me. But yeah. Oh, candy ginger is amazing. That's yeah. I can't do it. I have some at home right now. It's just you like do. sugar and ginger. It's great. Well, ginger is good for you. So. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you want to make another one? Are you satisfied with your I'm one? I'm satisfied. It's really hard for me to talk and make okay. sense at the same time. So. <laughs> well, do you mind if I keep it's asking you? you? No, keep, keep <laughs> questions asking me questions. You're going I on make... your third. Yeah. Hey, this one looks, like, smooth. Thanks. That's nice. I'm trying to do some variety with the, with them and make, you know, some different kinds. It looks pretty cool. pretty happy with how they've turned out. That yeah, those look great. More... What was your favorite part about playing the Baron, and were you ever worried about the reception you would get? Uh, my favorite part about playing the I think, Baron von Nazi. Let me I like just how say, he's, I yes. thought you were great. I thought you were so great. I enjoyed watching you <laughs> every night, because all I do in that scene is stand there and watch, and I just, I thought you did a great job. Thank you. I wish... He's a great villain. If we had more time, it would be fun to play around a little more. And I love... I'm one of those actors where I just love messing with people on stage, <laughs> as everyone probably knows by Jerk. now. I worked with this actor in Summerstock in New Hampshire, and he was, like, one of the best actors I've ever seen. But he would, like, turn up stage and just make you break, and then oh turn back and just be God. so good in character still. And I was just like... That's so mean. So good. Um, yeah. Um, but I guess my favorite part about playing him was that he's just, like, an idiot... I like love playing people who are just so stupid. And also stupid. And super I full love of how I don't know, like maybe it can be translated better. I feel like if we did it again we should give him a stupider costume. Like really mm. big pants. I thought your costume looked cool. Thank you. I felt cool. Those pants were hot. <laughs> Nobody just some really hot got wool to... pants. <laughs> also there's so Floofy. Nobody really yeah. got to see the extent. Of, I know. Like, I wish, but like that's why for like butt. stage they should have been like even bigger, like yes. even sillier. I I can agree with that. You looked cool for a person who was supposed to be like very yeah. Not saying that Nazi style is cool, but like that jacket was really nice and like yeah. As far as all the costume pieces went, it was like a very nice costume piece and. But I think I said this once on something where, like, I, what I find funny about that guy is that he has no status at all, mm-hmm. and he's, like, in charge, What's clearly, like, sure. Joe Walker's character could just, like, kick his ass, and it's, sure. like, not even a, a problem. Um, like, I love when the Avita Zanes, I was saying, I was saying this with Kiki, where, like, they, when he killed, Deadliest Man killed the henchmen, and they'd be like, Avita Zane, and they'd, like, go away. The first time I, they did that, I died i laughed so hard i think it was, it was lauren so that did it for funny. the first time it was unreal i loved having to like uh, actually take back the status in that scene with like sure. my next line because it was just like so exactly that character well i feel like like yeah he is really silly and stupid which you know is he needs to be because he's a freaking nazi but he also is like so unhinged that you were a little scared of him you know what i mean really Thank I, you. I felt that way. I like unhinged characters. He could have been more unhinged. That's why I just want to keep working on it. I played mm-hmm. a really unhinged character in college, and it was so fun to mm-hmm. just, like, lose my damn mind every mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, look at that. I'm trying Ready to put to some, some magic spell. on the top. I love it. I'm going to add... I use silver paint. It's oh, just, I just like silver that. Paint. Magic isn't real. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> you're, you're killing so many dreams right now. Um, yeah, were you guys worried about the whole thing? Uh, a little bit. We went back and forth. At the end of the day, it's like, <clears throat> like, it's like territory that's been sure. plotted before. Sure. So it's like, and there were only a few people who, like, found it offensive, but, like, those people couldn't really explain why they found it offensive. Sure. You know, so, sure. I don't know, like... For, it's, like, absurd, and it's, like, if you can't laugh at bad things, right. then, like, how else can you, like, process them? And totally. I love comedy that, like, challenges people, and, like, 
to get people like I love that call and response section because for me that's like the most real thing in the entire show for like my character like sure. outside of the fourth wall sure, so like and I love sure. this with like improv and clown stuff when I do like characters around LA and stuff like that just to like look the audience like in the eyes and challenge them yeah you're you know so what I'm brave I it just makes me stuff. feel so I mean, much more alive than a lot of other things I would be so terrified because to like do your like reaction that. as an audience member is like really genuine whether mm-hmm. you're like you don't like it or mm-hmm. whether you find it funny or you mm-hmm. find it funny but you hate that you find it funny mm-hmm. like i love challenging that's so an audience in that way brian you are a little bit of a part of po party yes in that you played our emerson for one of our prologues yeah <laughs> thank you for doing that my pleasure it's, <laughs> it was really fun it was fun we just went to the youtube space one day and i that one's so fun because you guys are it's such a it's like structured so differently because you guys are writing letters back and forth yeah it's cool i loved it had some real stuff going on you know yeah it wasn't as silly as some of the other ones that's true it's kind of intense um, i mean it was good because it played off my real like antagonism with sean with sean in real life yeah yeah you guys like can't be in the same room it's tough and i know it's been hard on you yeah it has been yeah because like (laughs) like you're a great friend and collaborator but like i love sean so it's like what do i do i mean at some point you'll have to choose but until that day (laughs) i don't know well, apparently Poe really did dislike Emerson, which is where that came from. I like a lot. He hated it. makes him. sense, but I would have to think that Emerson was in the right because mm. Poe was a nut job. Po, Wasn't he? Yeah, he died. He All was right. found dead in a ditch. <laughs> he wasn't like the most stable person. Didn't Not... he like sleep with his. Well, he married his cousin, cousin who was 13 at the time. Okay, right? Yeah, it was different times, so. though. But it's he also was. It's the same as the was... Woody Allen thing where it's like, How I old guess was I he can that separate happened? it. He from was his like work. in his. <laughs> probably like 15. I don't know. He wasn't old. We'll never know. He was like in his 20s, probably. Not that It was a okay. different time. It's not okay. It was a different time, but it's not. I don't that know. It was fascinating. Anyway. Did you guys see that movie with uh, John Cusack? Have you, Sean? No. Good. No. I saw the trailer for it. It looked interesting. But I also don't, like, I can't look at anybody else and feel like they look like Poe, because Sean looks like Poe to me Jeez. when he puts on the mustache. Not otherwise. Yeah. Not otherwise. Just with that mustache. Yeah, yeah. Um, had you read any Emerson? You familiar with Emerson? A little bit. I mean, I like nature, I so it's like, he's like, uh, we're in Transcendentalist, yeah. like, super into, like, Yes. I don't think I ever read nature. any Emerson. I know I read some of... Like Whitman? Yeah, definitely Whitman and Thoreau, because Thoreau wrote Walden. Yeah. Right? I mean, they're all fine. They're a little flowery and pretentious, but, like, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I guess probably I'm more of a Poe fan, because he's got more drama in his writing. And I love Edgar Allan Poe Do stuff. You? Yeah. I mean, I... I don't read it actively, but, like, uh, every couple of years I'll, like, read some of his short stories. Yeah. yeah. I actually haven't... Uh, I've only read Fall of the House of Usher by Poe. And... Annabelle Lee and parts of The Raven, but in terms of his short stories, I haven't read that much. Really? Yeah, he's so dark. It's it pretty is dark. really dark. Pretty dark. But it's dark. like exciting. Yeah, it's good though. If you guys have more time and money, will you, uh, w- would you like re, uh, like do more post stuff? Do more post stuff? Like shoot like his poems? Oh, like your versions of his poems, would that be interesting to you guys to like do Probably like Sean bad. like in an armchair and like <laughs> knock knock knocking on well, his door? Well, he just for a Telltale vlog just reads the Raven and comments on it, which is pretty fantastic. Yeah, we've talked about were Poe Party to do so well that it just was the biggest thing ever, and someone That's wanted right. us to do a sequel. We have ideas for what that could be, and would probably include different authors and stuff, but. Yeah. That is very much just something we've talked about and not anything. Don't get your hopes up. Mm. But it would be cool. I mean, it's fun. It's a fun area to play in with all these authors and making them a little silly. And Oh, yeah. It's like endless material, yeah. which is awesome. It's kind of fun. Not endless, but... Endless. We've put so many female authors in Poe Party, which is great. And then we were starting to think of, like, other female authors, and we are like, okay, we got, we got a few. And then we're like, the, all right, we need more, we need to have had more famous ladies back in the 1800s. the, po- the poet who was really, like, sad? Wait, this is the worst Emily Dickinson? Emily Dickinson. Yeah, she's there. Did she kill herself? No. Sylvia Plath did. Sylvia Plath put her head also, in an oven? Yeah, also a sad poet. Ooh. 
Yeah. That and that's so, was an she? Awful way to get that's it. part of it too is a lot of the women are so sad because their lives were so sad and we don't want to make fun of them because That would be such a funny joke though. If she was there but she would like always like she'd go for the knife and people kept on like moving things away from her. She's just trying to kill herself the that's whole night. That's horrible. It's a good joke. This is a Brian Robo party. <laughs> Yeah. It's a little darker. But yeah. anyway, yeah, we were so glad to have you for the prologues. They were fun. Yeah, it was super fun. So we didn't we wrote Poe Party before we knew you super well and then we did spies and we were like, Man, all these spies people are so fun we wanna and we got had Al be Mark Twain because he's just like Is that perfect. Guy. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's nice it's to get cool. you guys more involved in it in, in a little fun. way. Yeah, thanks for doing it. Yeah. We'll do more stuff in the future. Yeah, I hope so. This is how you do magic, right? This is how you shake hands <laughs> as a wizard. Oh, should we do our secret wand shake? Yeah. <laughs> Try to figure that Great. out. Great. Yeah, that's it. You can't. It's secret. <laughs> so we finished our wands. They look great. Um, I'm not going to do this on this episode, but you have to spray it with a sealant. This is a clear gloss coating just to make it all stay. So do that. So Brian, let's see what you made. All right. How did your uh, wand turn out? It Turns looks out. so good. All right. I don't know. I think it looks awesome. From a distance, it looks good. It looks great. It's been through a lot. I don't know it's, what you're talking uh, about. It's... it's Last me through many a duel. Yeah? It's got magic coming out of the top. So <laughs> it's it, just like a little bit of magic. As it should. And, That's um, wonderful. You know, like a, got a lot of good movement. Got, it looks like you've got some... Um, flick and... Flick and swish. You've got swish. some uh, experience doing that. I've also got some... Sometimes I use it when I'm conducting. Oh, I like that, yeah. Which I mean, is not often, but sometimes. <laughs> but sometimes. Yes. I made a few. I made three. This one isn't quite dry yet. I made like a like your normal rustic wand. Mm. I made like a little bit of a fancier version, you know, for the fancy witch or wizard in your life. And then this one is for like an older wizard, I think. It's like been around the block, maybe. So I don't know. It's got a little more character. So, uh, Brian, any parting words you'd like to leave us with? Thanks for crafting with me today. Are we going to duel? Yeah, you want to? You ready? <laughs> oh, are we, we're really doing this. <laughs> One, two, three. Jelly Except legs, Jinx! Except <laughs> <laughs> What? Which one did you do? Jelly legs, Jinx. Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Part of me wanted to be like a bacadabra. It's that like really would be dark. So horrible. I know, it would be really dark. What's the other one? Crucio. Crush, Crucio. That's right. <laughs> it just takes a really dark turn. Oh, no, don't do dark magic. Dark it's, magic is bad. bad. It's very bad. And well, don't hurt yourself on a hot glue gun. Also that. <laughs> this is black magic. <laughs> This is. is a solid, and it becomes a liquid. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> it's magic. Thank you, Brian, for joining me on my crafting show. My pleasure. It was wonderful to have you here. I will not be watching this back because I don't like watching myself, but hopefully You're I great. said something. I don't know. You said something. I definitely said something. You hopefully said some it was great of things. worth to some people in some way. <laughs> I think it was. All right. Well, I'm just going to apparate out of here. Okay, get out of here. Okay. Um. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I want to say thank you to my patron, Nikki Goad, for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to be one of my patrons, check out my Patreon. It's at patreon.com slash mkwiles.